Everything from now on must be perfect. Not good, not excellent, perfect. Oh, Bradley Cooper in his perfectly manicured five o'clock shadow. Oh my God, so handsome, <laughs> so handsome. <laughs> my name is Dale Taldi. I'm the executive chef and partner at Three Kings Restaurant Group. And we're here to watch some food scenes from Hollywood restaurant movies. Michelin sends its inspectors to restaurants to eat and award stars. One, two, three. Or none. No one knows who they are. No one. They come, they eat, they go. But they have habits. This part of the movie is fairly accurate. Um, a lot of chefs with little, little penises and giant egos want to rock around in their perfectly ironed Brigard shirt jacket, arms crossed like that, speaking down to everybody intimidating people, that's accurate. For some people, this is it. This is what it means to, to, sh to cook. Like, it's so joyless. <clears throat> Madame, uh, s'il vous plaît, laissez-moi. You must hold the knife first of all, like this. Reese, easy, mm -hmm. leave the thumb here, and là, the hand and the knife, uh, one. This is a complete fabrication of what culinary school is really like. Generally in culinary school, nothing was done in synchronization. Like it was done in a real kitchen. Like you guys are gonna do this task. This group of people is gonna do this task of chopping vegetables. This group is gonna roast bones. And your culinary instructor is never gonna be that nice. What are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm cutting vegetables. I'm cutting the vegetables. No, you waste energy and time. You think cooking is a cute job, eh? Like mommy in the kitchen? Well, mommy never had to face the dinner rush when the orders come flooding in and every dish is different and none are simple and all of the different cooking times but must arrive on the customer's table at exactly the same time. Hot and chocolate. Every second counts and you cannot be mommy. The first scene of that, of Ratatouille, is exactly my mentor. It, it rings so clear, the, this vision and you know, everything that they're trying to get to you. Years later, 20 years later, you end up saying the same thing to cooks. Excuse me, I did, didn't you say that this was gonna be rice with seafood? Uh, yes, yeah. that is, um, it is uh, Italian arborio rice, the mm -hmm. best. I, don't, I, I just don't see anything that looks like a shrimp or a scallop. Order a side of spaghetti, that's all. Just make me the side of the spaghetti, please. Secondo, I want to know for who is it for? for the lady with the risotto. What? Why? She likes starch. I don't know, come on. <sighs> Bitch. So good. So good. That exact conversation happens every single day in every restaurant, everywhere. From McDonald's to the three-star Michelin restaurant that's in, you know, Copenhagen. The chef will sit there and vent his frustration onto the manager. He will kill the messenger. One thing, just want to say 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 one thing. Stop it, stop it for a second. Just, just. I've been waiting to talk to this prick for a long time. Okay. I am not cloying, I am not needy, I don't care what you think, you're not getting to me. I'm not needy. That scene was so fucking real when we got our one star review in the New York Times. Bing. I cried like a baby. This is exactly how you feel, but you never do this. It's so crazy. You know, chefs are crazy. You know, internalize it. Drink a bottle of whiskey, cry about it at home like I did. You know, this scene with making your own, you know, making the sandwich at the end of the night, it, for me, it's so real because that's how chefs are living. If you want to know what good food is, ask chefs what they make themselves at the end of the shift. Hollywood almost never gets it right. 
because these guys just don't understand the struggle. And it's like when you look inside of these kitchens, the demographic of the cooks there, so a lot of them, it's so wrong. Where are all the immigrants that really make restaurants run? You know, put those people on, make your audience understand what it's really like to cook in a kitchen. Because most of these dudes speak Spanish. They are some of the hardest working cats you ever, you've ever met. Every chef there is a white guy. Every chef is some, you know, white dude who, who and that's not real. You know, most of your chefs aren't these people. I think that's where Hollywood gets it wrong.